Hey, you all. Today we will be doing the 2024 Spirit Halloween Carnival um, ISE themes. So, yes, we did get leaks for the ISE for 2024. And if you didn't know, let's start off here. If you didn't know what ISE is, it's basically just the themes of Spirit Halloween. Um, it's not really like anything other than that but yeah this is the ISE for 2024 and yes we did get some leaks okay so we're gonna start off with something you've probably seen multiple times now on other Halloween channels like the pixelated pumpkin end of the road haunts um I'm sorry if I'm missing a couple I know GM haunts I think did one I, I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I'm missing a couple that did do one. So, I'm sorry. Um, but, so yeah. You probably, what I was going to say. We're starting off with the archway at the front. And obviously, you can see the massive carnival sign. You can look up pictures of it because I don't want to put in pictures. Because, I don't know. It's just, you know, I, I, it's hard to find pictures, but if you, you can go on other channels and look. But yeah, the main archway basically consists of, I will describe it though. It basically has the carnival sign, an arch, and Jack the Reaper on top of it. And I also noticed that it looks like there's a couple like blue spirals on Jack the Reaper near the bottom. And it looks like Ghostface and the Ringmaster are going to be front and center greeting you to the carnival so that's pretty cool and also um i noticed that there's lights on the sides of each like booth thing i don't know what you call it you know each stand for animatronics and i noticed that they're probably going to be pretty high up now the pictures we're getting this from i'm getting this from other haunters specifically end of the road haunts um but yeah, uh, I'm getting this from other haunters, these pictures, because I can't find them myself. Um, and I'm assuming they're pretty hard to find. Um, this, these are, the pictures that we look at are prototype pictures. So, yeah, those are the pictures that we look at. They're prototypes, not actually how it's going to look. So it may look a bit different in stores. But yeah, that's the front archway theme for you. And a side note for the front archway, I just wanted to say that the sign, it doesn't look like it's made out of plastic this year, like fabric. It looks like it's actually a blow molded, like metal plated sign, which is really cool. That's why I'm assuming it's probably small. And I'm glad that they used the carnival sign in the theme this year. That's such a great sign. Okay, moving on to our next theme piece. Um, is the main area, like the two side areas, which I believe has the fortune telling booth, which is with Towering Tahala and Dark Princess, and then the Wheel of Fate or something. I don't know. I have to look at pictures again after this video. But yeah, it's pretty cool because um, the fortune telling booth is really, really nice. And I think the spinning wheel is a cool addition that you can spin it. I just really think those are cool additions to the theme this year. And it's laid out. It kind of reminds me of Reaper's Island a little bit um, from 2020. 2020 was my first year going to Spirit, so I did see the Reaper's Island theme that year. And looking back at pictures, it seems to be like it's similar to the Reaper's Island setup. So, yeah. And um, it looks like we're going to have Towering Tahala... Talaha or whatever I, I keep mispronouncing her name I'm so sorry um and the dark princess on one side I forgot what we're gonna have on the other um but yeah pretty cool I know there's a spinning wheel on the other side but the fortune telling booth it's so cool because it's a photo op you can pretend to read someone's fortune or whatever it's just a really cool addition this year to the ISE um and also, I want to talk about the spinning wheel next. I'm doing the two sides at the same time, so it, it so this video isn't so long. Um, but also, the spinning wheel is really cool because you can actually spin it, and I think that that is just so neat. Spirit this year really seems to be interacting with a lot of stuff. You know, like, 
where you can interact with so much stuff on their themes, which I really do love. There's walkthroughs, there's stuff you can spin, stuff you can go into. Really awesome. It, it kind of reminds me of the skeleton photo op, because 2021 did have some photo ops. You can do, like, the skeleton photo op, and you could also do, like, walkthroughs, too. But we really haven't seen this many photo ops in a spirit setup, theme setup before. Um, so the next theme piece I want to talk about is the duck shooting game. This one is really cool because it looks like, by the way the guns look, it looks like you may actually be able to, like, play it. Obviously, it's probably with, like, air or something instead of actual water because water would be, like, an electricity hazard for animatronics. I don't think it's actual water that's going to come out of there. Since we haven't had water props or, like, water anything since, like, 2014, I don't know. One of those years when Wolf Spitter came out, that was kind of the last water-type thing we had in Spirit. So I don't think it's a water game. It's probably, like, an air game. I don't know if it even works. Um, but, yeah, this seems to be coming with art and the cremator, and this is just really sick. This is one thing that I think will be a hot seller I do think I kind of want to get my hands on it for if we do a circus this year. I kind of would want to get, well, I mean, obviously it's after Halloween. But if we're doing a circus the year after in 2025, I definitely want to try to get my hands on it. If it's not too expensive at the sale. So, yeah, it's just really cool. I Obviously, I love the lights down each side. They, they're just so great. Spirit, man. This is kind of off topic to the duck shooting game, but I think Spirit has just done an amazing job. And especially with their water guns that are supposed to shoot water. I highly doubt they are going to shoot water. Um, but the quote-unquote water guns look really great, and they look like they actually work. And if they don't, good job, Spirit, because they look from the photos that they would actually work. And remember, this is all prototype pictures that I'm getting this from, so it may be a bit different in stores, like with the animatronics and stuff. But I am I believe I am going to flagship this year, so I may see them all. I may be going to flagship this year. Probably not on opening day. But we're not talking about flagship right now. We're talking about themes. So, yeah, I think the duck shooting game, it's just a really, really sick carnival game that I want to try to get my hands on this year but it's probably gonna be a hot seller same with like the spinning wheel and the fortune booth and all that stuff okay the next thing i want to talk about is the back theme um one side has bobby strings um barnaby the bear emily and victor the other i believe has wanda webworth cotton candy dan and nibbles the clown now i was actually when i first saw this this is a really cool back theme, the way they did it this year, since usually it's attached to a wall and it's not a two-sided theme. This year it is. I, I legit thought this was the front theme when I was coming. When I saw the pictures at first, I was like, oh, this has to be the front theme. Nope, it's the back theme. So, yeah, I think it's very cool how they have Wanda Webworth in, um the booth they have like a little booth thing where wanda webworth is and i think it's cool how they have emily and victor on like a, a high rise part of the theme it makes them look appeal it makes them look taller and i love that they did them together man i really did and i think i do think comparing it to the 2018 nightmare before christmas setup i actually think i like the nightmare before christmas setup better because here's the thing <coughs> I kind of wish they did the same thing with Emily and Victor, but they just put them in the back theme. I am a little bit disappointed that they didn't do, like, a small side theme this year with just Emily and Victor. Because I I really, it's it's really sad that they had to do um, them in the carnival theme, since obviously it doesn't really make sense in the carnival theme. But apparently there there's actually a walkthrough in the back which I know happened in 2022 back theme. There was a walkthrough, which was pretty cool. And I can't remember. Oh, 2019 had a walkthrough. 2018 had a walkthrough. 2017, no. 
2016, no. 2015, I'm trying to think, no. So, yeah, they only had a couple back themes with a walkthrough. I know there's definitely been other ones before than obviously just this one. But I think it's really cool how they have two sides of the theme. But honestly, another thing about Wanda Wentworth. I just wish maybe, like, Nibbles was in there or something. Because I I don't really think it makes sense to have, like, a spider in there. And honestly, I'm kind of really mad that there's just not, like, any... I'm kind of really mad that they didn't use the creepy towering clown in this year's theme. Because, man, I really wanted to see that thing in stores. Um, I don't know. I, like, I, I still don't know, though, because I haven't seen certain animatronics, like Night Terror and like gravestone whatever it's called i don't know graveyard gravestone growler or whatever that one that twitches around i i believe it twitches around it's like that zombie that's holding onto that tombstone i haven't seen those two there's probably more than i haven't seen it's kind of weird i think that those aren't like in the ises this year since when you go on the website i don't believe it says they're online only but, so, that's why I'm kind of questioning if we maybe have a, another small side theme. I Now, this, there's no, per, there's no confirmation that that's true because there's no pictures of it yet. But, we've only got pictures of the front and back theme. There could be a side theme that we just don't have pictures of yet. Now, don't go thinking, oh my gosh, there's a side theme because we don't have pictures yet. That's just an estimation. So, yeah, I, I just really wish they would put all the props in the store because there are some props that don't even have a spot in the themes or at least the pictures that we see that I would have liked to have seen in stores. And I know that Creepy Tower and Clown and Twitching Banshee are going to be in there. My question is about Cerberus. Is he going to be in the theme this year? Or is he going to be um, just kind of in boxes in the stores that's my question is cerberus actually gonna be in the store or is he just gonna is he just gonna be you know like in boxes like is there a side theme for him to be in? i don't know yet um we'll just have to see that's what i would say we'll just honestly we'll just have to see what happens as if we get more pictures or if we don't We'll really just have to see. But overall, we got in something new, which I think is really sick. Oh, and in the back thing, I forgot to mention there is a jumping spider back there. And it looks like there's a walkthrough as well, which is really sick. But we're getting a new jumping spider, guys. Okay, now I might have to buy this thing because I have a collection of jumping spiders. I have the red and black and the brown. So... I mean, I don't really need another jumping spider, but dude, they, we have a gray jumping spider this year. I'm so hyped about that thing. I don't get why. It's just a jumping spider, but I'm excited for that thing. That thing seems like a game changer. That thing seems cool, okay? I don't know why. I don't get why I'm so getting hyped up about a jumping spider, but dude, I'm just so happy. I mean, we've been getting a lot of new jumping spiders. It kind of started with the red and black back in 2020. And now we have a gray jumping spider. I think the brown and the black came out in like 2012. The brown may have came out in like 2013 or something. Actually, the brown came out in like 2015 maybe. I don't know. 2014 maybe. I don't know. But still, those there's been new ones. And I think... I was honestly expecting if we were going to get a new jumping spider, like a glow-in-the-dark jumping spider, but I don't think that that's going to happen um, because it's really hard. But but Party City in Halloween City actually had that in 2019. So I don't know. We're getting a gray jumping spider this year. They did also release some of the boxes, how the step pads are going to look. I really love the look of the step pads this year, by the way. And yeah, I'm really excited to go to the flagship store and see the Spirit Halloween Carnival ISE.